What if I told you there's only two tools that you need to get started as a DIYer in carpentry? This is really how I got started. It's all coming next on Timmerman TV. If you watch my other videos, you'll know my story, how I got started with literally nothing, sleeping on a couch, and I started with just a few basic tools and I wanna go over the top two that are absolutely necessary to building anything, especially as a starting DIY carpenter, that you can make projects that will actually sell. Getting into carpentry can be a scary thing. You think you need all these tools and a big shop and a lot of accessibility to a plethora of knowledge that really isn't the case. If you're a starting out DIYer, you wanna practice for yourself, but maybe also sell some small projects, really you only need these two tools. And in carpentry, there's two main things that you're trying to accomplish when dealing with wood, and that's cutting wood and fastening wood. Really, that's it. We need to cut material down and we gotta fasten it either to itself or other structures. All right, so you wanna know what these two tools are? Before I tell you, make sure that you're subscribed to this channel and smash that like button. All right, the first and most essential tool that I believe you need, and this is what I started out with as well, is a skill saw or circular saw. So this is essentially doing the same thing as a miter saw and a table saw all in your hand. With this saw, I can take plywood, I can take dimensional lumber, I can take posts and beams, and I can cut them down to literally any size that I want. And also we can change the table here to do angled cuts just like a miter saw would do. This is a very, very effective tool. I like calling it a skill saw, even though people refer to it as a circular saw, because I believe it does take some skill to operate this beast. Now, with that being said, this tool can be one of the most dangerous tools to use. There's a lot of uh, bad things that can happen from not properly understanding how to operate this tool, which I'll get into a little bit. So again, with this circular saw or skill saw, I'm gonna be able to take raw material, dimensional lumber that you can buy at Home Depot, Lowe's, or your local hard, uh, hardwood or lumber yard and cut it down to size of pieces that I wanna use for a specific project, whether that's a wall art, tables, uh, a bar, whatever it is. This is gonna get you there, especially for a DIYer. You need this tool. This is a corded one. It was about 150 bucks. So this is not an expensive tool to get started by any means. So this achieves our cutting material. We have to cut material and we have to fasten material. This is number one. Number two, we have to fasten material. So you need a drill. You could either use a regular drill or you can use what I like as an impact driver, which actually hammers while you're drilling or fastening a hardware to lumber. I'd always recommend going with battery powered. I love using DeWalt drivers and impact drills. And the benefit of it is that these actually have a clutch. So when you press the trigger, they stop as soon as you let go of the trigger. The corded ones and the older ones that can be really cheap now just continue to spin and you'll end up causing more damage than good versus having one that'll be more control on your finger. So here's actually some photos of some projects that I did back in the day when really these are the only tools I had along with a few hand tools, right? But really all I had was a saw and a drill. And these are photos to prove that you can build products that are fun, that are cool, and that you can sell online if you wanna make money. So really that's it. You need a circular saw, you need a drill, you can cut material down, and you can fasten material to itself or to other material to create carpentry projects. I'll leave a description below of what tools I like to use. Also, I'll be doing another video on some dangerous tips on how to avoid getting hurt with this guy. Make sure to subscribe to this channel and smash that like button. You're watching Timberman TV. See you next time.